Hello and welcome everyone to anubhavtrainings.com. Welcome to this demo session on Anubhav Learning Series. In today's session, our topic is how to download and run demo apps straight away from UI5 SDK and run them locally on Web IDE. SAP offers variety of demo applications into SAP UI5 SDK. Any of these applications you would like to try out and look at its code. Also would like to just quickly download and really wanted to update a couple of things for doing a quick POC for your customers. And you would like to showcase it to your users as well. You can always run them on the local web IDE. So let's go ahead and look at the process of running these apps locally on the web IDE. So in order to understand that, first of all, let's understand the basic concepts of how is that these apps are going to run on local machine and where will the data come from? So basically, as you can see, the UI5 SDK is already on the server side. So this is where you have all the data, which includes photos and demo data. And this is where they also have the apps. And these demo apps and their respective data is all kept on the cloud itself. It's all here, the photos, the files, and it also refers, as you all know, the UI5 framework is also part of the system. So whatever an app needs is all here on the SDK. That's the reason when you run directly on SDK, the app works fine. But when you download this app code in local machine, many of these resources, including data, UI5 framework, and some of the files will not be available in your system. So if you just download the project and put this project on Web IDE, it may not work. And this is what will happen. Now, we need to, of course, go back and check the missing resources and also get them added in the Web IDE to make these apps up and running in our local machine. Now, some of these important files are, of course, includes the UI5 framework references. And the second thing is this data. Most of the cases, the data is added as a hard-coded data in the JSON format with a concept of mock server. So this mock server is act like a real SAP server. So basically, there is no connectivity required for these demo apps to make them work because they all rely on the demo data, this demo data. So without even having a physical connection to an ACP system, you will still be able to mock this data with the help of mock server and get this app up and running and working um, as if like it's running on a real ERP system. So of course, for detailed concept of mock server, you can subscribe my advanced Fiori training. And for basic concepts of UI5 and Fiori, including Web ID and Business Application Studio, you can subscribe our UI5 and Fiori Foundation course. But in today's episode, our goal is to just get one of the app downloaded and make that up and working on the Web IDE. That is what our main intention and the goal would be. So let me go back to the system uh, and download this app and just try to run that on the Web IDE and see what is the the challenge we do, which we face and how to fix that challenge. So challenge will come with respect to references and this mock server file, which doesn't get downloaded in the in the local machine. So I'm going to go back straight ahead to UI5 SDK slash uh, hashtag demo apps. And there, that is where you can see lots of these demo apps. So maybe we can pick it up the very first one shopping cart application. So this is how the app looks like. And you can see it's having some photos, some data, and all of this is running directly on the UI5 SDK itself. Now, if I wanted to do a POC, so I want this application code to be downloaded in my local machine somehow. And once I download this code on my local machine, I will be also able to make a couple of changes to this so that it can up and run on my local machine. To do that, we can go back here. We say download and you can see all the apps here and let's search for shopping cart. And yeah, there you go. And just download that. So the entire code is now downloaded in my local machine. 
now it's a zip file so don't have to do any other conversion you can straight ahead go to web ide tool and this is where i'm running web ide personal edition for now and what I'm going to do is I'll just import this application over here. Right click on the workspace, say import, import from file system. And then I can just go back and browse the file over here, which I've downloaded. So let's browse that up. And of course, we can go to the shopping cart here. And let's change it to just shopping cart. App name should not have a space. Click on OK. And now the app is in there. So let's execute it right away. You, of course, it's not going to work. I'm just going to execute. And of course, I'll run index HTML, maybe directly the test HTML. And from here, we na navigate to index HTML. So as expected, you can see this app is failing. Let's press F12 and investigate. So very first thing which it says that the server responded with status 404. And which file is trying to get is this UI code JS, nothing but your UI5 framework, which means the very first fundamental problem here is the UI5 bootstrap. It's not able to detect the path of the bootstrap. So we will go back to our index HTML file to get that fixed. So let me go back and do that. So I will come back here to our application. So now you don't need maybe SDK for now. Let's go back to index HTML and here you can see it's referencing with some random path this this UI5 core and which is true also because this app was running on on the UI5 SDK itself there it was somewhere able to detect with this path the UI5 core framework but since it's in my local machine now it won't be able to detect the same so I have to reference the same over the internet so of course I have to just say bye bye and just reference directly to UI5 SDK. Yeah. Similarly, you can see just below that we have these test resources. We will also reference them from the internet. And I will save this up. Just make sure everything is good here. And now let's go back and try to execute it again. Just have to go back and refresh. Keep the console open for any error if it finds refresh. And now see, it's not able to detect a file called in init mock server JS. That file is not there in my in my local machine, in my web app folder. It's not able to detect. Now let's investigate where it is calling this file from or where it's invoking this file. So I just copy this name, go back to web IDE. On the right side, we have a search. Let's do a search on the project. And you can see there are two places where it's trying to kind of invoke the file. I'm just going to go back here, double click, and you will find the location where exactly it's trying to invoke. So you can see here, this is where uh, system is trying to initialize, uh, at the time of initialization of my bootstrap, trying to call this module in my namespace, this is my namespace. This whole thing is my namespace of uh, the parent directory, web app directory. And here it's trying to detect or find a file called init mock server. It doesn't find that init mock server in the whole of this directory, which means this is the file which system kind of did not download uh, when, it, when it comes to the file. So what I can do now is go back and once again, go back to shopping cart, press F12 here and i will just try to investigate the missing file in the sources so let's go back to network tab and reload this demo app on sdk itself and the file which is missing which is init mock server.js just search for that here and there you go just click on that so remember i'm on the network tab and now over here you can see the code of this file in the response this is the code you can copy this code from here so just say control c and I will straight ahead go back to web IDE. And remember, in, in the web app directory, you have to create this file with the same name. And it's a JS, of course. Say new file, this.js. Awesome. I can come back, and just copy the content of the file and just paste it. So what this is actually trying to do is, it's trying to initialize the mock server, which it requires to be able to um, set up the ba the basic data or respond to the data requests which goes from the application. 
okay that is what uh, we're trying to do here in this uh, in this code i just save this up and just close everything go back to my local where it was giving me this error and i'm going to close this and okay keep the f12 open always so that we can know the issues and let's refresh one more time and now there's a syntax error unexpected end of input which means the file which i copied it has a syntax error maybe something i'm missing i will probably go back and just double click on the file just copy the code from here be careful with the code and yes i was missing this end of the file just save this and i guess now everything looks good we can go back straight ahead to our application which is running on localhost refresh and voila you can see the application is up and running on my local machine it is definitely it's a mock data with which it's working you have a complete shopping cart application up and running you can just go ahead and utilize your ui5 knowledge now to be able to modify the code of this app and just for example i just go to the card you can see all the items which i have in my card i'll always be able to see them i can proceed so there's a little bit of navigation problem that's fine but at least overall you can see the application is is beautifully working on my system you can see uh, all the products which i've added to my cart it's all working on mock server actually and then i can go to step two make a cash on delivery step three you can just give some data and just say demo and we can just go for the order yeah so this is how exactly you can make any demo app work you just have to investigate the console find out which file is missing or which link is missing the missing piece once you bring it into the system you will have the code up and running and of course now you can go back to any of the view of course you have to investigate based on the routing configuration which view is called when so of course when we start the application the very first view which it is calling is the home not found this is the the target it's i guess it's calling at the beginning you see pattern is blank so for home it's calling the left side and it's calling basically this home view and you can find this home view here hopefully yes here is the home view and in this you can see there is this list control which they are having in place yeah so all the binding and everything you can see it's binding product categories and products so that's what system is doing you can always go ahead and make more changes to be able to change things and i was talking about the mock data so you can also see the mock data over here this is the mock data system is using so if i go to this products json you see these products now this is the product category for example just say accessories here the name and i just change it to anubav and save let's come back and i will reload in my local so let's see you will be able to see that now this is changed to anubav so it's completely relying on that local data local json data and also on the mock server so that's exactly how you can also quickly make the change to the demo data and make your demo data adapted according to the need and then you can also create a quick poc out of it so hope you enjoyed this session for more sessions like this feel free to get back to us or subscribe this channel on about trainings.com for detailed training feel free to get back to us on contact at about trainings.com with that and about signing out thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next session